For the next half hour, why not sing something simple along with the Adam Singers, directed by Cliff Adams and accompanied by Jack Ember. Just join in with all these songs you love to sing. We'll sing something simple for you, something for you. Tonight I must think of her, music maestro please, tonight, tonight I must forget how much I need her, so Mr. Leader, play your lilting melodies, ragtime, jazz time, swing, any old thing to help me ease the pain that solitude can bring. Thank you. 
went in six by six, there's one more river to cross. The hyena laughed at the monkey's tricks, there's one more river to cross. Listening to Sing Something Simple with the Adams Singers, directed by Cliff Adams. Not only listening, but joining in, we hope, with all these songs you know so well. I never cease to be amazed how simple are some of the world's most successful tunes. We get more demand for melodies like Moonlight and Roses than anything else, and Cliff's piano solo today is equally simple Leroy Anderson's Forgotten Dreams.
Oriental music and you 
Something Simple, a collection of favourite songs sung by the Adams Singers, directed by Cliff Adams and accompanied by Jack Embler. Sing Something Simple is produced by John Brown. We'll sing something simple for you, something for you. And now we have the Greenwich Time Signal. on Radio 2, Sunday news time. Mr Ray Gunter has resigned as Minister of Power. In a letter to the Prime Minister, he says, I no longer desire to be a member of your government. The new Minister of Power is Mr Roy Mason, the Postmaster General, and he is succeeded by Mr John Stonehouse from the Ministry of Technology. Now, here's a comment by our political correspondent, Hardiman Scott. Although Mr Gunter's resignation has come as a shock today, those who know him well won't be surprised. He was disappointed at leaving the Ministry of Labour, and I think perhaps he was rather sceptical about its reorganisation into the Department of Employment and Productivity. In his letter of resignation, he referred to the Ministry of Labour as of blessed memory and put two exclamation marks after it, a significant enough clue to his feelings. And there was that curt opening sentence. It's not only that he's been unhappy at the Ministry of Power, it's also that he hasn't been happy either at certain recent government decisions. He's known to have had some disagreements with the Prime Minister on certain matters. 
So now Mr. Wilson's government has lost two of its most senior members, George Brown and Ray Gunter, both of them basically because of certain disagreements. That is serious to any government facing the problems the present government faces. Mr. Gunter, a rubicund and friendly figure, well-loved and respected throughout all parties, has immense experience of the trade union movement and trade union negotiation. He's devoted his life to it. This expertise is a distinct loss to the government. Now, he's evidently said he's not after the job of General Secretary of the Labour Party. Anthony Greenwood is the favourite for that job. But if the trade unions put on sufficient pressure, well, that could change. Hardiman Scott. A BBC reporter asked Mr Gunter if he was going to make a resignation speech. He replied, No, I don't think that the parting of a politician like me is worth any dramatisation of that sort. And he added, The people will be asking who the hell was Ray Gunter ten years from now. <laughs>